I finished high school in Germany. As a young woman, I really wanted to come to New York to live there. And I met Doug, and we just had a lot of the same values, even though we came from very different backgrounds. And I fell in love. Doug has accomplished so many things. He's very involved in all kinds of different civic activities. But I'm most proud of him as a father and husband, and he's a great person. Lydia, like us, as a child of a survivor, you know, we feel duty-bound and uh, responsible for um, carrying on our parents' memories and the memories of all survivors. My dad was born in Czechoslovakia. They were very poor in a small village. And in 1943, all the Jews were taken and put into the ghetto. I don't think that my dad was someone who was afraid because he was very fast and savvy. He always used to leave the ghetto and bring back food and help the family and help other people. They were friends of my father's who said to him, we can run away and we're gonna be free. And he said, well, I, I can't leave my family. The next clip that I have from, from my father was they're in the train and they're getting to Auschwitz. And they didn't really know what was going on exactly. And when they looked out, my father and his father knew it wasn't good. And they stepped down and my grandmother hugged my dad and he knew that was the last time he would see her. After the war, my dad went into real estate in Germany and he was very successful. He knew the idea of Sadaka and he raised money for Sharet Sedek and Hadassah and other organizations in Israel. He thought that was the right thing to do. I certainly grew up that you, you do your civic duties, but you don't carry it around. Olivia and Doug are, you know, incredible leaders in the community. It's a very quiet, dignified leadership that I think we all um, should take as, uh, as role models. My family and I visited the U.S. Holocaust Museum in Washington with the whole family, and it was an incredible incredible experience to be there with my dad and for him to explain things to us and for the kids to be there. It was really, really exciting. When I came back, I wanted to do something with that. What attracted Lydia to the board of the Holocaust Center was her own sense of continuity with the past. And she articulated a focus that underlined the importance of educating high school students about the Holocaust. And that vision led to the Day of Learning. The idea was to bring kids from different schools in the area and make a day of Holocaust learning. I just jumped in and said, okay, let's do something together. As a teacher in a Catholic high school, um, I think that the Day of Learning offers kids a very good opportunity to study the Holocaust and other contemporary issues. They learn about aspects such as resistance. They learn about other genocides that have occurred. More and more rights were taken away from Jews. One of the most emotional classes are the speakers who come and talk to us who are Holocaust survivors. A6374 tattooed on my lower left arm, and these took place and substituted for our names. 
reading from a textbook, it's really easy to forget like what the actual experience that people felt is. And actually being able to meet that survivor and actually listen to her testimony kind of changed that to me. It made history more personal to me. It's not just something I'm looking back at anymore. It's something that I know people have lived through and it just connects to me better. That's why it's so special to me now. During the death march, I used to say, just hold on another half, half hour. Not just me, my sisters too. We encouraged always, just stay alive, just hold on. And we, we told all kinds of things like... These survivors, it was more like a conversation. They took questions, it wasn't just one-sided. And that was really, that really affected me and made the story all the more profound. I want to know, how did you meet your wife? We're in our 13th year and we have grown tremendously. We have about 750 students from 100 schools. This event is usually on a Sunday and it's remarkable that these kids want to come where they could be hanging out with friends and doing different things. I want to show you my book. They like to hear, they like to know what happened. They like to know what did we do in the forest. And I, and I do tell them, I do tell them. By telling them the story, it, it makes for them more real, more real. Anytime before that and after. The Day of Learning represents perhaps the last opportunity for survivors to talk to these kids. The survivors are few and far between at this point and having the opportunity to see a flesh and blood survivor sitting there telling you their story is irreplaceable. After my dad's passing, we decided to name the day of learning in his memory. Simon, Simon Chrysler. Chrysler, for whom this program is named, was a courageous and generous individual who has served an example for what an outstanding individual should be. That she would take her family's banner and run with it in such a public way and in such a way that had such a deep impact in the Bay Area, not just San Francisco, not just for Jews, not just for Jewish kids, but for just this huge breadth and array of children and educators around our Bay Area, I thought was just a magnificent way to honor her father's memory. I think that these kids really do learn a lot about what the Holocaust was. And I think they, they leave the day of learning, a, you know, being a different person. It all starts with simple things and just speaking out against things that they know are wrong and having a voice for people who are marginalized, whether it be in the school or the community. When we think about the rise of anti-Semitism all over Europe, we think about ways in which to respond and reach out. And the Day of Learning is a precise antidote to the prevailing anti-Semitism that we see today. It's a day of learning. And it's a day of learning about the Holocaust. It's a day of learning about human behavior. It's a day of learning about contemporary issues and hopefully something that they take away will change something in their own behavior. I would very much like to see this program in other cities, in other countries, all over. And that would be my dream. Yeah.